hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's asia d here and i'm back with another video okay so this is a short little intro this is not the official start to the video however i just want to say today i was not in the best mood and i wanted to get out of a funk so i literally woke up i showered washed my hair i was still good when i washed my hair for some reason that's like my vice washing my hair and like rubbing my belly when i go to sleep calms me pretty much i am just going out to grab a couple of drinks like i said i just need a little pick me up i need something to just you know like boost my moods i need to get out the house like i said this year i'm trying not to let certain things ruin my mood or if it does ruin my mood i'm trying not to let it ruin my entire day like yes i'll be in a funk but i don't want it to like mess up my whole day where it's like i get nothing done i wanted to make sure that today was still productive and i still got a lot done regardless of how i felt a really big key to life is not allowing things to get you down whenever you feel like you're down find things that bring you back up again <laughs> in a good way not with drugs or like alcohol you know what i'm saying but yeah sometimes drinks do help a little wine or whatever but you get what i'm saying like to get out of that funk do what you need to do you know in the safest and healthiest way possible whether it's doing your hair washing your hair putting on a makeup taking some cute pictures retail shopping perhaps because i know i love some retail shopping but yeah i just wanted to say that real quick no matter what the circumstances is do not let it bring you down do not let it ruin your day take some time off take a little step back take a breather process it and then let it go leave it in god's hands and everything will fall into place right now i'm about to go get some drinks and i'll be right back because we're gonna get into a really juicy story time yes girl this story time is gonna be about <laughs> how I was messing around with this married man and I didn't even know it girl until his wife called yeah so stay tuned for that I will see you guys when I get back home and I'll be all dolled up and stuff like that the hair that I'm wearing I will list it down below I also flat iron my hair today and I'll also list the flat iron that I use but instead of putting in some curls I just give it a nice bone straight look and I absolutely love it honestly guys like I love this hair so much like I don't want to take it off this is like my new color but yeah i feel like it really complements my skin tone also while i'm out i'm going to go to sephora and return that replica perfume that i showed you guys in my vlog the bottle was leaking i finally got my new card that they sent me so now i can go ahead and return it if they have an extra one in stock i'll just swap it out if not i will just wait hey y'all so i'm back i'm dressed i know i had to remind you guys of what a bad bitch i am because well you know what i didn't even have to remind you guys i had to remind myself you know because earlier i was like i said i wasn't in like the best of moods but i had to kind of like pick myself up so i could feel like me again so i'm feeling like me again this makeup look is my universal makeup look y'all already seen this before but if you want i could link all the products i used down below the only thing that really changed was my lip gloss color but yeah i just came back inside the house i did my makeup i fixed my hair i just wanted to get cute you know like i just wanted to feel cute like i just like i said i wanted a little pick me up so you don't gotta look good or be going out to nowhere to just dress up sometimes you just want to be in the house looking cute that's what we've been doing all 2020 anyway so you might as well just roll into 2021 so I did stop at the beauty supply store before I came home. So I'm going to just show you real quick what I got. I just got a couple of things. Nothing too major. But yeah, I'm really liking this hair. I just straightened it down the middle. Pushed my hair to the back. And then I took two little things and you know. They're not even. They're like my first time trying it. So yeah. So far so good. And I just have on this jumpsuit from Fashion Nova. It's like a onesie. One piece jumpsuit. I'll also link that down below but yeah let me show you what i got real quick and then we will get into the damn story time because i'm ready to tell this story so as i was saying doing my makeup i was literally trying to remember i wasn't trying to remember but as i'm like replaying the story back in my head it's just like more and more details keep coming up and i just keep remembering like little parts of the story i'm just like <laughs> okay so really quick what i used to flat iron my hair is this 
Kiss Red Ceramic Tourmaline Flat Iron. This is the one and a half inch. I bought this at my local beauty supply store, but you can also get this on Amazon as well, which I will link down below. It is real good, girl. Like, you been having your hair look real silky. And then I just use this hot comb. You already seen this before from Love Me Hair to kind of like brush down the baby hairs. Girl, I'm trying. So before I even start, let me just tell you my lip combo. It is MAC Bittersweet Lip Liner. And then I have this Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss. This is their full on lip cream and it is plumping. It's like a real pretty nude. Super cute, I'm just in love with it. So to be honest, I didn't really grab a lot of stuff from the beauty supply store. I really just grabbed a couple of things because I didn't really need a lot. I just figured I'll just grab it while I'm there. So remember I was telling you guys I didn't like the other glue I was using. I like this one to apply my lashes with. So I picked up a new one. Let me show you the one I was using because I feel like as soon as I bought this new one, it's like this old one when it's work. So the old one I was using is a Sublon Pro Exclusives, which is the one with the red cap. Y'all know this one. And this one has also the red cap, but this is like different. This one is a Salon Pro Super Hair Bond Glue. This one's a professional speed, I guess. I like using this one personally on my lashes. Like I said, you don't have to use hair glue on your lashes. I'm not telling you what to do. Um, do what works for you, okay? Don't do what I do. And then I end up getting this hair cap. This is like a shower cap, but it's for like really, really, really long hair. I bought one of these so when I go on vacation, I could just have an extra backup instead of taking the one that I have like in my bathroom with me. I end up getting this Even New York Tinted Lace Spray. So basically when you like need to like bleach your knots or get you, you know, like your shit looking like scalp light, looking like really laid, you wanna get this. I did buy one on Amazon recently, but it didn't get here. I didn't know that they sold this. I mean, not to say like I didn't know that they sold it at the hair store. It's just like, I wasn't thinking to get it at the hair store, that makes sense. Like, I don't know, I'm just such like, an Amazon girl now, like Amazon Prime me please. I'm I'm that girl. So anything that's like okay, instant gratification, I don't really have to leave my house, but it'll get here on time, but I don't really have to leave my house. Perfect. And while I was at the cash out wrap or whatever, I seen they had these up there, so I was like, oh let me grab one. So I grabbed the medium brown. I'm excited to use this. It's like an aerosol can. So we'll see what this one is about. The next items I end up getting are like um these little like razor razor disposable like eyebrow razors i like to use them to like cut my lace off or just clean up the top of my brows y'all see how i do my brows and i'm getting the regular size one like this and then i end up getting the really 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 tinsy tiny one so cute and the this one has like a comb on the end of it so i guess you could like brush up your brows and do your thing but this is real nice if you want to do like baby hairs if you just want like i said cut the lace off your wig or whatever the case may be or clean up them like little areas between your brows like I like like this little area here or like up here or just you know the pro earrings that I was recently wearing I just realized this morning after I took a shower like I was missing an earring and I was like what the hell they be falling out my ears girl so I end up getting just these like real cheap studs they were $2.99 super cheap like I said I always lose my jewelry so anything anything that will stay on me like permanently like a ring a necklace a watch a bracelet stuff like that i can handle but when it comes to earrings they just slip out my ears and i don't i don't i don't know where they be going girl all right so let's get into the story time before we start i just want to say disclaimer the names places some of the dates some of the locations, whatever you want to call it, maybe change due to protect set parties or, you know, set persons in this story. Let, let's just get into it. So, for example, somebody might be living in New York. I'm going to say they live in New Jersey. Like, you know, okay. Their name might be Jim. I might call you Bob. All right. <laughs> The reason why I'm laughing is because this story is just hilarious and I usually tell too many people about it. So the fact that I'm like on this camera telling y'all about it is real funny. Let me see. It was around November holiday time. Okay. The year is just out in the open. Like the year don't even matter. It was around like November. I would say like I was at work and I was getting this crazy ass headache and 
if y'all know me, like around that time of the month, I get really, really, really bad like headaches to the point where I just want to throw up. But this day, it didn't matter what I took. I was throwing back painkillers like there was nothing, like <laughs> back to back. Girl, with coffee, I was on my third cup of coffee, nothing was working. I don't remember if I was closing that night or what it was, but basically I had to leave the building. I was just like, nah, I need to take a step outside. I need to rest my head. I need a break because my head is killing me. And if it doesn't get under control, I'm, I'm going home. I don't care. Like, that's how bad my headaches be. You know, I'm walking or whatever out the building and I see this dude like walking past me. But I didn't say nothing. He looks whatever. And I'm like, I'm out of my business, you know. Basically, where I got my coffee, they have like a little place where you can sit or whatever and like eat, you know. So I laid my head there and I had just got another cup of coffee, girl. Like, I don't even know. Like, I just felt like whenever I take like the painkillers with the caffeine, it tends to make my head stop hurting faster. It's a science to it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It just depends. However, this day it was just not working. I noticed someone like trying to talk to me, like basically trying to like get my attention. If my lashes are crooked, it is. Don't pay attention. Somebody come up behind me and they kind of like tap me and they're like, oh, I'm sorry to bother. Like, I hate when dudes be like, oh, I'm sorry to bother. But like, no, you clearly bothered me. So you're not sorry. <laughs> you do what you're supposed to do. Or you do what you wanted to do, I would say. Anyhow, <laughs> girl, this story is getting kind of like, the reason I'm thinking about it because it's like, I'm getting excited just thinking about how this nigga drive me. So at this time now, um, I was single, not really like dating or whatever. I was like mingling, you know, pretty much I was not tied down. You know, he's like, oh, I'm sorry to bother you, da 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 He said, I just need you, um, you know, walking by and I just had to come back and, you know, say what's up. I don't remember exactly what he said but something along those lines he stops and he's like oh i didn't mean to bother you whatever i just thought that you were so beautiful and i seen you walking by i just told my friend like i had to stop by da, da, da. so i was like oh, okay so he's like oh what's up what's your name so you know i said my name you know asia real nice and smooth so i was like what's yours so let's just say mm -hmm. let's just say his name is donald so he's like yeah my name is donald whatever donald you know he, he just starts talking more so he's like oh what's up how are you doing da, da, da. i'm like i'm good you know i was like how's your day going he's like i'm good i'm just in the mall shopping with some of my friends i was like all right cool cool i was like well i'm on my break such and such you know i don't remember how the conversation went but we were standing there for like a good five six minutes just like conversating off the top of our heads so i was like okay in my mind i was like at first i didn't want to talk to you like i really didn't even want to be bothered but now like you got me considering keep talking keep talking right off the rip i was like all right he's cool or whatever like he's respectable at least he didn't come at me on no like damn shawty you look good like you know like okay he came at me politely like he held a conversation with me or whatever and then before he left, you know, he exchanged numbers. He told me he was um, a trainer or whatever. He was in the um, military, you know, basically had like a government type of job. You know, and he was leaving or whatever. He just he just got off. Like, he ended his little four-year contract. You know, such and such. But he wasn't living where he... He wasn't living, like, right, basically where he was. Like, he was just visiting some friends out of town. So that's why he was there. So fast forward now, I am getting his number and I never really like took him seriously. You know, I didn't really text him like that. Like we would text slightly, but it wasn't on no like back and forth, consistent, like heavy, we going at it. It wasn't, it wasn't like that. Like a maybe a month goes by or so and I had texted him. The reason I had texted him really and truly is because I was in another situation, but it wasn't really like a situation because I would say like, that's a whole nother story for another time. However, basically that situation that I was in prior to him, um, homeboy was playing. Like he just couldn't make up his mind, like what he wanna do. Like he just, he just had a lot going on. And ultimately it wasn't really up for me to decide like what he was trying to do. It's more so like on him. It was almost like, okay, well I'm I know what I want, like what do you want? You know, type of situation. So I wasn't really like texting this homeboy now because Obviously, I had just, like, my other situation. I was really more so focused on that, like, versus, like, him. But he was just the number I had on my little backup or whatever. So, I was like, you know, he was cool. So, one day I was just, like, 
I just decided to text him. I text him, whatever, and we ended up FaceTiming, like, for a really, 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 really long time. Um, actually, no, I lied. I lied. Back up, back up. So, I ended up getting his number, whatever. I remember he was headed home. He was headed home, so he was driving back home. I remember I had called him while he was on his way home, and we had talked for a good little minute. Where he lived wasn't too far from where I live. It was, like, a good little driving distance. So, I ended up staying on the phone with him that whole time. It was crazy. So after that, we hadn't talked for a while, like a long, 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 long time. It was just like real, like spaced out. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, he had, I had my other situation and I don't know what he had going on, but basically he didn't live there. He didn't live where I live. So I don't know how you feel about long distance relationships, but I like personally, I just can't do it. Like you can't live no like two hours away from me. Like the most I would do was like an hour max. Mind you, like this is not someone I was married to. so. If I was married, maybe it would be different. But so fast forward now, we just started talking more and more and more and more. And I remember he took some time off to come see me. He drove down to come see me or whatever. And mind you, this man came to my job. He bought me like a little teddy bear. This teddy bear just so happened to have the same birthday. So it, it meant something. It meant something to me. Like, you know, not really me, but to him, if that makes sense. Like, it meant something to him. So he bought me this book, like he just wanted me like all this shit, girl. Like, really trying to do it up. He pretty pretty much bought me a book that like said like a hundred things like I love about you or some shit. Like he was really really saucing it up, girl. Like to the point where I even texted my mom was like, girl, I think I met my husband. Like, <laughs> what's up? Like I really really was like, girl, I think I met my husband. And, like, like I'm texting him. I'm like, damn. <laughs> you know, like you really in your feelings, like dear diary, like. <laughs> This man is so sweet. This man does this. Like, you know? Lo and behold, that's how niggas be sometimes. Like, they just really, like, play the play their part until, like, the role is up. Like, the gig is up. <laughs> you can go home now. Mind you, like I was saying, like, he didn't live where I live. So, whenever we would talk, he would either always be on in the, in the car. We would FaceTime, yes. But his thing was like, oh, my signal is bad. So... That's why we talking to the outside. But I'm like, okay, anybody that's been to my house know my signal is bad in my house, okay? The only time you get connected is if you have Wi-Fi. So I'm like, who don't got Wi-Fi in 2020? <laughs> who don't got Wi-Fi? Please tell me. Who don't who don't got Wi-Fi? It's almost like this. You know how they say, like, you never see the red flags until, like... <laughs> you know how they say, like, the red flags be looking real good? onto like they're literally red flags like red flags be looking like six flags until they're not like that was me i didn't really like put that together i just thought like okay well this thing really don't got no signal or whatever he told me he lived with his roommate and that was that so he even went as far as putting on his location for me so like when i would like look i would see that he was home so i didn't think nothing of it and he had a dog or whatever and a roommate he tried to make it seem like he had like a set schedule. So he he would be like, oh yeah, I'm really trying to wake up early so I can get this and this done and I want to get to bed by this and this time, you know? He would wake up at a certain time in the morning and then I wouldn't hear from him until he gets done with like whatever he's doing. And then I'll talk to him for a little bit up until like maybe before he goes to bed, you know? Like he had like a schedule like that, supposedly. So we would talk whatever. Sometimes like it'll be kind of difficult to reach him because like I said, like it's either his signal would be like bad or he was just like busy. So if he was so-called busy before that time, like he would not pick up the phone. So I remember he had came down to visit me and it was around like maybe December or so. Like going into the new years, he had came down and he had stayed for a while. Like, so you know, we would hang out in between those days. So I remember like asking him, like, were you married? He was like, Yes. And I was like, huh? But me, I always ask people if they married. Like, I feel like in this day and age, you just have to ask because you just never know. And I feel like my thing is like if a man is talking to you and he's showing you genuine interest and he doesn't ask you if you have a man. It's literally because, like, I feel like nine times out of ten, it's because he has somebody, you know? It's either he has somebody or he's, like, just really not interested. Like, there's no... For me, that's how I feel like. Like, if you're an attractive female and a man is, like, talking to you and stuff like that and showing you interest and he's not, like, asking you, oh, do you got a man? It's because, like, I feel like he low-key has somebody, too. And it's, like, he don't want you to ask him that same question. So, it's, like, he'd rather not ask it at all. He already knew I ain't had no man. Like... He, he didn't know I was talking to somebody else, but like I said, like, I didn't feel like that person that I was talking to 
was technically worth telling about because he just had a lot going on. So anyways, he was like, yeah, he's married. So I was like, okay, like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> like what do you mean? Like, bitch, you're married. I do. I was like, okay, so now my antennas are up. Like, okay, what do you mean you're married? Like, explain. Explain to me what you mean. So he's like, well, you know, da da da. I was in the military, military, army, whatever you want to call it. Basically, I wanted those jobs, Coast Guard, Marine, in that field. He basically said, like, oh yeah, I got married for like the benefits. So I guess like when you're in that type of job, you make get married to like another spouse or whatever, and then your income doubles or whatever, you get to eat more, you know, you get a better share of the crop. So he basically said, like, he got married when he was really young. It was like a contractual marriage, obviously, like all marriages are contract, but he basically saying like this one was for, you know, financial reasons, not for love. So I was like, oh, okay, like I, it was, it didn't sound far fetched to me because it's something like I've heard about before, like me being in Caribbean and stuff like that, and growing up Caribbean, there are a lot of people that would just get married for their papers so that they're able to live in the U.S. or travel. To me, it sounded kind of logical. I was like, okay, so when. When do you plan on getting a divorce? Like, <laughs> that was my first thing. Like, when do you, like, plan on getting a divorce? He was like, oh, we're working on the divorce or whatever. Um, it's about to be finalized soon. It's just, like, she has to pay off some stuff. Basically, she owes some money or, or some shit like that. So then I don't know how we got into, like, the conversation of, like, oh, like, what if we get married? You know, he's like, well, I wouldn't want to get married again. Like, I would want a spiritual marriage. Like, not, like, an actual marriage. For me, I'm just thinking, okay, like... Maybe he was just really fucked up and really scarred over, like, that last marriage or whatever the case may be that he doesn't really want to, like, dive into that. He just kind of wants to, you know, go the spiritual route. But I feel like, okay, like, bitch, if you're getting married in a church, <laughs> how how much more spiritual does it get, you know? And I guess you could say, like, there's a difference between religion and, like, spirituality. Yes, it is. However, I feel like, dude, a spiritual marriage, like, what is that? I'll be in fifth grade. You might as well just give me a ring pop and call a day. Like, that's that's how I felt. And he's like, well, we could go out of the country and get married. So I'm like, but technically, we won't be married in the U.S. Like, we'll be married in that country. And it's like, how often are we going to that country? You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll only literally be married there. It wouldn't be significant on papers, like, you know, in the court of law or anything like that and I feel like okay when you get married you think about stuff like that like getting a place together you know buying properties together opening up accounts together stuff like that so this nigga now he started talking about marriage babies how he's so ready like all this crazy shit girl he introduced me to his family his sister like all of them are like in secret talking like oh yeah um I really like her like I really like her oh my god like she reminds me of such and such like basically he his brother was saying like I reminded him of their like younger sister or whatever the case may be so I was like okay that's cool like good I'll fit right in I'm gonna fit right in you know we went to family functions I got I met his mama I met his mom's boyfriend basically his whole family okay he wasn't close to his dad. Like, I don't think he know who his dad was. I went to basically, like, a whole holiday party with, like, all his close friends, stuff like that. Like, it was real relationship-ish. You know what I'm saying? This nigga started talking about, like, oh, he want to um, move. He want to move in together. He wants to, like, have a baby, get married, all this shit. Mind you, this is only, I'll say this is maybe around january going into february right january going into february because i remember january that's when like i had met like his his family and stuff like that his friends boom like i said like he was just he would just act real weird like sometimes like I, like he'll be in the bathroom but he'll be in the bathroom for hours girl like hours like i don't understand like what you're doing in the bathroom because me i take long showers but come on now 30 minutes to 45 minutes like i don't be in there for like two three hours like long just taking mad showers this nigga tried to say like he really got a um a long skincare routine or some shit like that in the bathroom like nigga all you use i be seeing you using is the goddamn tree nut body scrub coconut butter all over your body or coconut oil whatever the hell it don't take you that long like you got muscles but 
you you not Larry the Lobster type swole. Like you not you not out here moving breaks, moving weight. Like come on. He was like, no, babe. I just take time out in the bathroom or whatever to kind of unwind, collect my thoughts. He was like, I write a lot of notes and stuff, basically like, like my little diary. Um, he's like, that's how I deal with stuff or whatever. And mind you, I was believing him because he had like a whole sleeve on his arm, right? And I had asked him about his tattoo, like, oh, what do they mean? And he was like, oh, they're like really deep or whatever. I was really messed up. And they were kind of like sinister type tattoos, like to be honest, <laughs> like, yeah. So he was like, I was just real messed up, da da da. So I just thought like, okay, well maybe now this nigga be writing his his notes or whatever, expressing his feelings, like he on his Moesha shit, dear diary, he said it was a good day, like, you know, like, I don't want to ever, like, like, if you ever express something to me, I'm gonna always, like, keep that in mind, like, you know, and try not to do certain things to trigger someone, you know, you get what I'm saying? So, I didn't want to be, like, inconsiderate or just insensitive, like, nah, like, nah, you, you in there too long, like, come out, like, it's time for me. This nigga was just always in the bathroom. So what, your stomach hurt or what? You know how they be like, oh, niggas be in the bathroom for mad long, come out, they stomach hurt. No, this nigga came out talking about, he was writing his diary. Your diary? Okay. I'll go to your diary too. Fast forward, it's maybe February. So this is February. He was like coming around my birthday, whatever. He was trying to basically, you know, plan something nice for my birthday. So he's like, what do you want? What do you want? Like me, I always say like, first of all, I, like I always request hair for my birthday. And it's not just I want only hair, like, that's just the starter. Like, I need some good hair, okay? I'm going to be laid before anything. You know, at least I look good. I could do my own makeup, my hair, and I could just get a cute outfit. You know, it's, it's nothing. So this nigga sent me some money for the hair or whatever. It was like $300. Um, I think it was like $300. He sent it, cash out. You are now, it's my go. So now we had got Airbnb or whatever. His brother had got an Airbnb in Miami, and we were staying in Miami. The other night I was like texting or whatever and I had went to take a shower but me like I always like to listen to stuff like in my ear so I have my ear pods in my ear and I went to take a shower not thinking like oh snap I left my freaking phone on the bed mind you I was talking to another set party he went through my phone or whatever when I was in the shower so this nigga comes in the bathroom and he was like either I don't know why he said either you fucked up or why you had to lie to me or some shit like that. I was like, why you had to lie to me? And I was like, huh? So he's like, you know, you left your phone unlocked, right? So I was like, huh? Like, literally, I was just like, huh? And what was said, like, at this point, my brain had clocked out. I was like, fuck. I knew I was caught because. I was like texting other people but like I said I personally did not feel like it was a big deal because like I said like I was not in a relationship with that person and the dude that I was like currently with at that moment like I was not technically dating like we was not in like a full-on relationship like we was getting there like I had known him for like maybe four months but no oh hold on let me back up so in that time when we used to hang out and stuff, I remember, like, he was telling me about, his, like, he, like I said, he had a dog. So, I remember one night he was coming home and, like, he got a text message from said wife that, oh, he also said that this wife lived in another state. So, pretty much in my mind, okay, you're in another state. Like, I have nothing to worry about. Like, you're in another state. I wasn't really thinking nothing about it. I seen the a text come through from the girl saying, Oh, such and such is wrong with your dog. Let's just say the dog's name is Mario. So, oh, Mario's throwing up right now. Like, he's really sick. Like, you need to call such and such. So, I'm like, okay, like, who is that? So, he's like, oh, it's, um, let me give her a name. It's Sarah. So, it's Sarah. I thought he, I was like, okay, what does she want? So, he's like, oh, he just text, she was just texting me about the dog. Um, Mario. So I'm like, okay, well, why would she be texting you about the dog? Like, she lives <laughs> three states over. Why is she texting you about the dog? Like, how does she know about the dog? And it's mad late on top of that. So he's like, oh, I don't know. Um, his roommate must have told him something or told her something. Like, let's. So I'm like, why would your roommate call her about the dog? Like, and she's in. Three other states, like, it's not to say, like, she's, like, an hour away or she literally lives in the same house as you. Like, 
Y'all are three states away, supposedly. Now, like I said, like, boom. We was at the Airbnb with his brother or whatever, and I was planning to spend the night over there or whatever. He had came to see me. So he had went through my phone. He was like, oh, you left your phone unlocked. So I, I calmly finished my shower, and I was just like, okay, like, I don't know what to say because there was, like, mad shit in that phone, like, mad information that you could just use to, against me, like, criminating information. So it was kind of like, what is there to lie about? At this point, I'm caught. So this nigga goes above and beyond, like literally loses his fucking shit. Like, I don't understand. Like if I apologize, there's no way for me to like make the apology sound genuine, if that makes sense. If I say I'm sorry or I apologize, I am genuinely, genuinely sorry. I don't want to hear no shit about like, oh, no, nah, I say the apology over. Like he was trying to make me like, repeat the apology over and over until like it sounded right and i was just like no like i've already said sorry like so many times i didn't know like what he wanted from me so <laughs> that whole night it was just awkward it was awkward as hell i was ready to go home like i was just like okay i cannot wait for the morning like i'm about to uber the flight back home in the midst of all that stuff going on right like i said like i didn't really want to be around him because i was just feeling really bad like to be honest like i was feeling like <laughs> real bad the next morning i you know, kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit more, but he wasn't ready to talk about it. But I'm just like, I'm not that type of person. It's like, I'm here right now, let's talk about it. And he wasn't. So I really was genuinely like annoyed. And I was just annoyed at the fact that, okay, like why do we keep on having tension over it? And it's like, we could literally sit here and talk about it, but no, you want to be petty and kind of like guilt trip me. And it's like, I've already said, sorry. So what we're not about to do here is sitting like trying to make me feel bad i'm not really sorry for anything i'm just sorry that you went through my phone and found out to be honest that's what i'm sorry for so this nigga he makes a whole big freaking ordeal like anyways i go home he's getting real disrespectful he's texting me back and forth he's calling me on my name he's calling me this that da, 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 like just back and forth i'm like yo you're mad insecure like you are just okay like i was just being as polite as i can i was like you know what like uh, you right like i apologize i did say i was sorry and he just was not trying to hear that so this nigga went as far as to send girl he sent a video of me and him to said party that i was talking to it was embarrassing like i'm i'm not gonna lie like it was embarrassing but i'm glad that he never like put it out on the internet he really just sent it to that one other person which i really didn't care because the way shit panned out, like, I did what I had to do. Like, there's no regret in that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the way shit panned out for two of those niggas, it's a dub. I'm back home now. Like, he's really trying to, like, make me feel bad. Mind you, I'm still texting him because it's like, like, it's like, if I call you, it's like, what are you going to say? And it's like, you just texting me over and over all this crazy shit. So, I kindly blocked him. And I think when I blocked him... It's when he got mad because after I blocked him, that's when he sent that video. So I was like, wow. So now I got this dude bugging over here. And now I got to worry about other homeboy trying to explain, like, what the hell is going on. Fast forward now, like, pretty much after that weekend, like, I was done with homeboy. He was real disrespectful. I just felt like, okay, like, it took that one thing to get you upset and you to go, like, to that extreme. And it's like, after that, I felt like, okay, well, I really see your true colors. Like, I really see your ass right now you're showing your ass that's the type of person you are okay bet i was just like okay i'm done with him like i'm done with him like it's terrible so now he went on this dude's page and was writing all types of crazy shit under his comments girl like really really doing the most like a little bit like a little bit i don't want to say it but that's how he was acting like a little b fast forward let me see so we're done or whatever mind you like it didn't even phase other boo like what was going on because like i said other boo already had other shit going on so i felt like what i had going on yeah it might have hurt his feelings but you got other shit going on so i'm 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 really looking innocent in this whole situation now, i blocked this nigga like i never spoke to him again he would just make fake pages and try to follow me from all his fake pages and like stalk my instagram or whatever the case may be like this user has no pictures no followers just blank so i ended up blocking everyone from his family like i ended up blocking his sister his brother bitch i ended up blocking all of them because i was just like when i'm done with a person trust me bitch i'm done like i'm not 
going back to talk to you especially if you hurt my feelings like if you genuinely hurt my feelings i'm done with you okay like that's just it mark my words i'm an aquarius bitch it ain't nothing to cut a bitch off it ain't nothing see ya peace out so you know i'm going through my whole little healing phase or whatever because i really felt like damn like this nigga could have really took it to another level and really put my shit out on the internet for real for real and that would have just been real embarrassing to be honest that's why i said like personally don't ever send anything that you don't want like the internet to see to somebody don't send no like nudes don't send no videos don't make no videos don't don't take no pictures and no parts. Like, if you need to go on a porn website and find a picture that looks similar to you, you do that. Because at least, like, if it does happen, it's like, bitch, that's not even me. So, you played yourself. I was just, like, done with him. So, maybe a month later, I get a random call. Actually, no. I'm chilling in my room, so I get a, a random text message. And you know with iPhones, when you get messages, if that number is not saved, it's going to come to your, like, unknown or, like, junk section of your phone so that's how it came it was a long message like oh hi this is such and such as wife um yes wife like i just want to let you know that you're such a homewrecker you da, da 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 like how could you sleep with a married man like you're so disgusting like girl just talk all this shit okay because the last time i checked your man said your marriage was for financial gain and y'all was not even really in love like it was more for money so you tell me and it's not to say like this nigga was like on some rockefeller type balling ass status where it's like okay you marry this person and it's like you getting all these lump sums of money like no like you're literally getting maybe a couple like maybe an extra thousand dollars wow whoop de doo in my head I'm, like, I'm i'm reading this message and i'm just like you know when your blood starts boiling and your palms or your hands start sweating your underarms just start sweating you getting real like you just start seeing red so i'm like you know what but i'm about to call because one thing about me bitch i don't play like don't don't text my phone about no your nigga my man the woman the woman like don't don't do nothing that. okay unless you actually trying to meet up and talk like actually have a sit down conversation don't don't text me about no nigga i call her now and i'm like hi how are you this is asia you know real polite so she's like oh hi this is such and such as wife i just want to say you're a home record like how could you not know like he was married da, 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 da. And i'm like first of all he said he was married but he said he was married for financial purposes like this was like under contract like he really just did it for more money okay he said y'all don't live in the same state and he lives with his roommate she's like oh that's what he told you she's like oh i'm just going down the list calling people da, 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 da. and i was like okay well whoever you called before me that's that's probably the the reason like don't don't try to come and talk about oh i'm homework or nothing whoever you call before me and before that and just whoever you call like first off the top of the list that might be your problem don't call me talking about home record this home record because you don't do you got the same energy for all the mother females that you was calling no i bet you you don't she's talking about something oh i'm just so tired of this man he's such a liar he's such a this or whatever all of that right so mind you before that like he was still trying to like talk to me like before, like after i said i was done with him and stuff he was still trying to like talk to me like get back good with me you know he was like at, at that point when he realized okay like bitch i don't give a fuck that's when he started kind of like coming back and like no like let's just make this work like you know i'm sorry like i was real heated and it's like nah after you send them pictures then you call me on my name you got real disrespectful like <laughs> that was it for me like it doesn't take me long like once you disrespect me once that's it it might take two times but it's definitely not gonna be a third time like <laughs> you get lucky with a second chance so right before i had called his wife he had actually texted me and was like oh call me like i want to talk call me and i was like yeah hold on that's the wifey text me so i was like you know what i'm about to call her so you know she's like oh i'm so tired of this man he's such a liar like it's just woman after woman i'm just like okay so then you're calling me about your man but i like i understand why you're calling to inform me but at the end of the day it's like you don't have to send out a psa that you're married like once you're married, like, it should be known. He should be wearing his ring and y'all should respect each other. It kind of blew me that one, like, he had a whole apartment with this girl, his wife. That's why she knew, like, when the dog was throwing up or whatever, when the dog was sick or whatever the case may be. 
I think it was real fucked up that he was whole married, like literally whole married. And I met his mom, his sister, his brother. Like I felt like that was real fucked up. Even his roommate, like his roommate, I was cool with his roommate too. I was like, wow, this nigga has some nerve to literally be married and then have the nerve to want to react the way you did when you found out like I was talking to someone like, but you're in a whole actual marriage. You're not working on a divorce. She was like, he told me he wanted to make this marriage work. Da -da -da, that he loves me. You know, he loves his marriage. He wants to make it work. Like he wants to start a family. So I'm just like, wow. Wow. Like I was just blowed. I was like, okay, so this nigga did all of this for what? So I got off the phone with the wife now and I texted him. and I was like, oh, I just spoke to your wife. So mind you, prior to that, he didn't even know like that I knew that he was still like technically married and not going through a divorce and not like so-called fake married, fake married for like financial reasons or whatever the case may be. Like, no, nigga, you was like a whole married person and that's why you couldn't talk to me at a certain time. That's why you would go to bed early. That's why um you had like a set schedule and try to like squeeze me into your schedule. Like that's why so y'all when y'all see them red flags baby please pay attention because they will come back to bite you trust me a couple months later i'm going through my whole healing process i'm trying to just bounce back you know because one thing about me a true bad bitch is never broke or bitter okay like we're not pressed like we're gonna move on and we're gonna come back like stronger you thought you was leaving something not of value behind you thought wrong pretty much now like i'm going through my healing process and i get a random text from him saying that he was sorry and sorry that it took him so long to reach out da -da -da, and apologize and he just sat down and reflected and he was really angry at the time that's why he did what he did you know he had a lot of stuff going on we both need to heal and grow and da -da -da. like nigga don't put that shit on me like y'all need the healing girl but clearly you needed it more because i wasn't married <laughs> you were i looked at the message and i was just like boy go to hell respectfully but i was like you know what i'm gonna be a nice bitch and i'm gonna respond because sometimes i do that like <laughs> So I was like, all right, cool. Hope all is well with you, you know, such and such. So, you know, I'm making a little small talk. So I'm like, oh, how's your dog? I promise you, like, this had to be karma. Because he was like, oh, his dog died. And, like, I swear to God, like, when he said that, it's like, a part of me really smiled in the inside. Like, yeah, your dog died. That's what you fucking get, bitch. Like, your fucking dog died. Yeah, that shit died. Like, and it's like... <laughs> Oh my god. I'm not even trying to say this like because I love animals and it's nothing towards the dog. It was more so like he loved that dog and it's like nah bitch you tried me and God I felt like God who am I to really say like okay God did this because he did that or but I'm just saying like in my head it makes me feel better to know that okay that was your karma. Your dog died. So you don't have a bad bitch nor a bitch literally wolf wolf you don't got none. <laughs> it was just crazy to me how that story ended up but yes girl that was the time that i was messing with a married man and i did not know it until his wife called so if you enjoyed this story time give me a big thumbs up like this rate it comment down below um if you've ever been in a situation like this or if you've ever been in a situation where you've dealt with someone that was married and didn't know how did it end up for you like girl never again so after that situation i was scarred like i'm literally checking oh <laughs> i was gonna say i'm literally checking state lights and their things girl tell me how when i was speaking to the wife she was like this is public record you can look it up you can look it up but i'm just like who really be looking up like people's marriage certificates like i don't like the most i do is like okay are you married and i'll do some digging but like am i typing in full names no so he was married in another state not even the state where he said that wifey was staying in like a whole nother state so i was just like oh wow like y'all was married married like four years in married like like the whole the whole time married i would say moving forward if you're gonna mess with somebody definitely make sure that this person is not married try to get their full name if possible i don't even care if it seems stalkerish you're just trying to protect yourself your heart you know your mental you don't want to have to you know 
knock somebody out. But no, y'all, I don't do violence. I've actually never been in like no type of fight. So like, I don't do that. Like I'm classy. Okay, I fight with words. Yeah, if you enjoy this story time, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Y'all, so I totally forgot to mention when he sent me that money for the hair, you know, um, it was maybe two days before him finding out that, you know, I was texting somebody else or where the case may be. So this nigga had the nerve to request his money back on Cash App. And you know how Cash App is, it's like, once you send it, that's it. Like, you're you're not getting that money back. So he tried to dispute his claim, request a refund, da da da, -da like oh send me my money back like no you sent it because you wanted to send it like like yeah i asked you for it and you sent it because you wanted to like no you're not gonna get your money back like you sent it you meant to send it so he was like oh remind me never to send a bitch money or something like that for her hair through cash app or remind me never to send a bitch 300 dollars through cash app that ain't my fault like you, you sent it sir so you're lost and you know what i don't even feel bad no more because nigga you was married so you deserved it